Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can split data into columns if it's coming to your sheet as one column, and also how to join text together if you've got data in multiple columns and you want it in just one column. So splitting data into multiple columns when it's stuck in one column, or putting data back into one column if you've got it in separate columns. So the first example at the top here, everything is in column B. You can see that all this information sits in that column. So I want to select these four items and split them off into separate columns. And the way you do that is you go to the data menu at the top there and down to where it says text to columns. And then you have this sort of information. Yours might be on tab and not space. That's a, that's the default. Mine is not separated with a tab. It's separated with a space. So once I tick space, you can see it's already split this off into the correct columns that I want. So I can just go OK on that one. And then that just knocks it across like so, which is great. Job done. To bring this together, to put it back, what I need to use is the concatenation or concat function. Now you can go up to the FX wizard and you can do it through there or you can just type it. So I'm going to type it equals concat. What you'll get there is two options. Basically concat is replacing concatenate. It's just the same sort of thing. If I open that bracket, you then select the cells that you want to join together. So B7 comma now if i just click on c7 and d7 that will will join it all together i will do it on this first example but then i'll do it how it needs to be done on the next ones because obviously i need spaces in here like that so that will join it together and that might be how you want but there's no spaces there at all so if i just do that again but this time do it so i get spaces what you have to do is not only join the cells together, but also join the cells with a space. So the first cell is B8, so I'll click on that. Now, I need to glue that or join that together with a space. Now, the symbol to do that is the AND sign. So you wouldn't need to do this AND sign if you was using the concat function itself, similar to what I did there, but through the wizard, it would allow you to do this, but you'd still need to do spaces. I need to open quotes, do a space, close quotes then another join symbol or I'm going to call it a glue point to glue cell C8 and then again glue point open quotes for the next space press the space bar close the quotes and then the last glue point to glue this cell D8 at the end now when I tick that that should be how I want it in, with spaces between the words, which it is, and then you can pull that down for the rest of the list. So that one, when I use the concat function by just typing it, didn't give me the option for spaces. But if I click on the FX wizard and get myself into this, I can do a space myself. So if I just do space in there, and then that would be C7, and then that would be a space. So I'm doing the spaces through the wizard. And then that would be D7. And that should give me the same information. But if you are quick, quick at typing, you can just type that in. Let's have a quick look at that, see how it looks. The result looks okay. It's done exactly the same thing. Got it all joined together. But I've used the wizard. I went through the FX. So you can type it yourself, which is what I would always do, to be honest. Or you can use the function wizard if you're not too sure what you type because that does flag up errors and quite often it will fix an error if you're slightly out if you're way out it, obviously you're starting from scratch and try to work out where you've gone wrong but that's just a quick little video of how you can split data that's all sitting in one column into multiple columns and if you want to do it the reverse how you can join data together when it's in multiple columns but you want it all in one column with the concatenate feature. So hopefully that video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.